Regardless of whether you are a fan of Apple or not, you have to give your props to them, as they make some of the best devices out there, no matter the form factor. Their laptops, desktops, phones, and tablets are always in the running as some of the most sought-after machines and that is not simply because of their brand. Apple's combination of software and hardware is one of the best and many others have tried to replicate their success, but as of right now, their quality and ecosystem are still the greatest. Let's see how their newest iPad Pro does at continuing on the already well-established legacy and if it is good enough to be a suitable laptop replacement. Today we are presenting you our top 5 picks about the Apple iPad Pro 11 2020. As with any Apple device, performance is one of its main attributes. The Apple Bionic A12Z system on a chip has in itself an 8-core CPU and GPU. The CPU uses the popular among mobile chips Big Little architecture, with 4 high-performance cores and 4 power-efficient cores. It is built on the 7 nanometers process and is paired with 8 megabytes of cache, and 6 gigabytes of LPDDR4X RAM. The 8-core GPU is an upgrade over last year's model, which had a 7-core GPU. The 2020 iPad Pro has a 120Hz 11-inch IPS touchscreen display with a very high resolution of 2388 by 1668 pixels and an aspect ratio of 10 to 7. Additionally, it has comfortable viewing angles, a high maximum brightness of around 600 nits, and a very good contrast ratio. What is more, is that it covers 97% of the sRGB color gamut and has a non-flickering backlight. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. The Apple iPad Pro has a great quad speaker setup, that is plenty loud and produces crisp sound with very good quality. Moreover, the low, mid, and high tones are clear of deviations. This is a bit of a mixed bag for us since the build itself uses premium quality materials, but the device is so thin that even the aluminum body can't keep it from bending, shall you make the mistake of unintentionally sitting on it. Otherwise, on the front, you get a scratch-resistant glass, and while the bezels aren't the thinnest, they actually help with the usability, eliminating the risk of accidental touches while holding the device. The lack of a micro SD card reader means that there is no way to upgrade the internal storage. Good thing is that the device comes with up to a terabyte of storage so you should be fine. The I.O. is one of the poorest that we have seen with only a single USB Type-C 3.1 port at the bottom.